In nine months, 11 Russian businessmen found dead. Some stabbed, some shot in the head, some fell out of windows. And not just in Russia, but England and Spain too. All this in the backdrop of the protracted Russia-Ukraine war, where Moscow's failure to win the conflict even after so many months is putting Vladimir Putin in a difficult position. Are all these deaths a coincidence? Or are Russian businessmen frustrated with Western sanctions being scared into discipline by the Russian establishment? Here's a look at the circumstances of the deaths, official stories and conspiracy theories. Let's first take a look at the long list of the deceased. The first case was of Leonid Shulman, the head of transport at Gazprom Invest, which handles oil and gas major Gazprom's investment projects. Shulman was reportedly found dead in Leninsky village near Leningrad in Russia. His body was found in his cottage on 30th January 2022. Investigators said that a suicide note had also been discovered. The second case was of another Gazprom top executive, Alexander Tyulakov. He was reportedly found dead in the same village as Shulman. Tyulakov's body was found in his garage on 25th February 2022. Russian reports called this death a suicide too. The next death, that of Mikhail Watford, occurred outside Russia. Watford, a Ukraine-born Russian oil and gas billionaire, was found dead at his home in Surrey, England. His body was discovered on 28th February 2022. UK cops ruled out suspicious angles in the death. The fourth case was of Vasily Melnikov, the owner of medical supplies from Medstorm. He was found dead along with his wife and children in Russia's Nizhny Novgorod. They reportedly died due to stab wounds on 23rd March 2022. Investigators claimed that there were no signs of unauthorized entry into the house. The next businessman to die was Vladislav Avayev, a former vice president of Gazprom Bank. He was found dead along with his wife and daughter. Their corpses were found at their Moscow house on 18th April 2022. Investigators reportedly called it a murder-suicide. The sixth case was again outside Russia. Sergei Protosenya, a former executive at gas producer Novatec, and his family were found dead in Loret de Mar near Barcelona in Spain. His wife and daughter's bodies reportedly had injuries. The deaths were discovered on 19th April 2022. Catalan cops suspected yet another murder-suicide. The next death was of Vladimir Lyakishev, former co-owner of the Bratia Karavayevi restaurant chain. He was found dead in Moscow on 4th May 2022 with a gunshot wound to the head. A gun registered in his name was reportedly found near the body. The corpse was discovered on the 16th floor balcony of the building where he lived. Deceased number 8 was Alexander Subotin, a senior executive at oil and gas giant Luke Oil. He was found dead in Mitishchi on 8th May 2022. He reportedly died during a visit to a shaman in an intoxicated state. Subutin was found in his basement after having suffered an apparent heart attack. Authorities opened a criminal investigation in the case. The next victim was Yuri Voronov, founder-CEO of Astra Shipping, a Gazprom contractor. He was found dead in a Leningrad cottage on 4th July 2022. His body was in the swimming pool with a gunshot wound to the head. A pistol was found near the body. Investigators claimed no one was seen on CCTV cameras entering the house. The most high-profile and mysterious death was of Ravil Maganov, the chairman of Lukoil. He died in Moscow on 1st September 2022 after falling from a hospital window. However, his company statement cited a serious illness and did not mention the fall. The latest incident involved Ivan Pechorin, Managing Director of Far East and Arctic Development Corporation. He went sailing off the coast of Ruski Island on 10 September and allegedly fell from a speeding vessel into the waters of the Sea of Japan. Pechorin's body was found on 12 September after an extensive search. While silence surrounds the deaths of most of these top businessmen, in some cases voices of doubt have been raised, questioning the official stories. Ravil Maganov's death shocked many and his company's decision to not acknowledge the deadly fall from a window only sparked more interest. 
Maganov may have painted a target on his own back after Luke Oil took a public stance seen as critical of Putin. In March 2022, the company had called for an end to the Ukrainian conflict and expressed sympathy for the victims. Some brave voices have also questioned the police version on Vladislav Avayev's death. While the death of Avayev and his family is being probed as a murder and suicide, a former vice president with Gazprom Bank pointed out that Avayev used to deal with VIP clients. Police say that the apartment door was closed from the inside and the deaths were discovered by a relative. However, Igor Volobuev pointed out that Avayev used to handle large amounts of money in his job and he probably had access to some risky information because of which he might have been eliminated. In the case of Sergei Protosenia, Spanish cops claimed he killed his family and then himself. However, Protosenia's son has challenged this theory, claiming his father could not have been the killer, hinting at a murder conspiracy. The deaths of these Russian business elite occurred all over Europe, but in case this is a conspiracy hatched by the deep state, this would not be the first time that Moscow's targets have been killed outside Russian territory. Western powers have long accused Russia of using poisons and nerve agents to kill former spies or defectors. The West has so far failed in intimidating Russia into stopping the Ukraine war. Their best hope can be internal pressure on Putin to end the conflict. But if top businessmen are turning up dead, then voices of dissent are not likely to grow very loud. It might be time for top investigative and spy agencies of Western countries to take a closer look at the growing list of dead Russian businessmen and take steps to provide security to Putin's critics.